Well, as you can see, we got snow last night. It's uh, 21 degrees outside, and the wind chill has it. Wind chill has us down in the teens. So it's a cold morning. I'm doing my rounds, and then I'm going to be back in the studio in just a little while. Gonna have the heat turned on for the first time in my studio, and uh, gonna be a lot of fun <laughs> getting a winner. Time to play with some clay. All right, for me to start on the hair, I've got to get the upper part of the dress done. And I've got to get the neck done first before I can do that. Because her neck's gonna play an important role in this piece as well. Okay, it may be cold, and I mean really cold outside. But it's nice and warm in my studio because I turned on the heat earlier. I don't want the uh, fan to be distracting, so I turned off the heater, but it'll keep it warm in here for a while. At least for the hour or two that I work on my clay today. Okay, I'm just sketch roughing in the back part of her hair. So what I'm doing is just filling in behind the blanket or the uh, shawl. This is a silicone woman's makeup thing and uh, works well as a kind of a softening and smoothing tool. I got it off of Amazon. This is one of my homemade homemade tools. If you do a search on YouTube for making your own silicone tools there's a woman who shares how she does hers and gives you the materials to purchase to do just that all right i've uh, blocked in the blowing part of her hair uh, with some flat pieces i'm gonna put uh, detailing on top of that and uh, I'm just working out everything so that it gives a feeling of the wind blowing or a breeze or whatever <sighs> I'm liking it what I'm doing right now is working out the collar that she's going to be wearing. And it's going to button at the top. Women were very prim and proper in those days. OK, 
Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is the uh, button part of the blouse. But first I'm going to have to do some anatomy on her chest. She'd be wearing a corset underneath her clothes. She's a little thick in the waist. So I gotta take that down just a little. All right, I'm going to put a wrinkle in the outfit where her buttons are um, screwed up. I'm going to put them where they aren't. It'll be puckered between the buttons, is what I'm trying to say. raise her collar a little because it's being blown by the wind okay I'm just Working on the uh, wrinkles again, trying to refine them. As much as I can. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little texture into the uh, blouse. I would assume that any pioneer woman or frontier woman would have very durable clothing. Clothing that would hold up to uh, the rigors of frontier life. And, uh, yeah, they would probably wear a corset, but they probably wouldn't worry about it as much as city folk at the time. It would just uh, be enough just to hold her in. But I don't think they'd want to make themselves uncomfortable while they're walking 
mile upon mile on the prairie. This will have to do it for tonight, and I'll come back and work on this more tomorrow. I'm really happy the way it's turning out, and uh, I still got a lot of work, but it's getting less. And uh, we'll just keep on uh, keeping on. And I'm going to blend that hair into the back of that thing so that this shawl. I gotta, I gotta make it so they can cast it. And right now, I think they can. Anyway. All right, everybody. Good night, and I'll see you uh, manana. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.